Yeah. Okay, so this is the ternary operator. Uh, this is the replacement for if else, uh, okay, if else statements. So if else statement, you will write uh, like, you know, uh, if uh, parenthesis, then curly bracket, then uh, logic you will write, then else again, another curly bracket, a lot of, you know, uh, space occupies. Both will serve the same pro, you know, purpose, but this one is going to return for you. So this is the very short form for the if else, but this is the one, how you write, e variable equal to expression. So if the expression returns true, the question mark after part will execute. If the expression returns false, the colon after part will execute. So you have to remember this, okay? What is that? Uh, expression question mark expression one colon expression two so if the expression is true question mark after part will is good so this value will be assigned to this variable expression is false this expression two will execute so this will be assigned to this variable. That is the this ternary operator how it will export. So here you can see so in February so days twenty nine string result. So the result is you are going to get a string format. February days equal to 28 so, but you have whatever the this is the input basically input you can give input so 29 double equal to 28 so february days is a 29 here we have given input but here you are comparing with the 28 so this part is a true or false 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 means it will execute leap year, leap year. So this will store in the this yes, result. So if this is true, it will store here. This this value, this result will go and store in the result variable. So this is the widely used concept instead of if else. Okay. So you want output from the you no know, this expression output that this is the best you no. Know, uh, one single line see you're writing in single line only otherwise you know if else if you want to write so many lines it occupies right so it saves the you know time it saves the time for you so that's the main advantage of this ternary operator so uh, let's go and write the program ternary operator program uh, so one or two will write and we can, uh, if you have any problems, any problems, you are facing any issues, I will explain. Otherwise, we will uh, close here for the day. Ternary operator table. So take main method. Okay. So I'll take a so many no things you can write. Okay. Uh, for example, you want to say in the, the given number is uh, no positive number or uh, negative number if you want to say. Then you can easily you no know, tell that. The result you can so store that. Um, so I'll write private static void check 
number positive or a negative. So you need to tell that. So you can give int uh yeah okay one one so I'm just giving that so string result so result equal to uh a greater than zero question mark then what you can say positive right colon if not negative so you can print this So that's it. So you call the method and give the, see I'm going to give, see the parameterized method advantage is you can call the same method with the no multiple times with the different data also see first one is a positive second one is a negative so that's the so here you have to write the proper condition that is very important okay so this is how you can write see everything in the single line if you want to write in you know uh, if else you have to write if a greater than zero then you write a system dot out dot a is a positive else so A is a negative, you will write. So now we don't need to do that. A simple one single line. So that's the shortcut for if else. Okay. So if you want more, uh, we have one more uh, example. I have given more examples. Uh, ternary operators. I give one more, but somewhere it. Uh, yeah, here. So you have so many. See, very you no know, diagram so neatly provided. So you have to search with the Java ternary operator. See this. If expression is true, expression two will execute. Expression one is false, expression three will execute, that output will store here. So expression one is true, question mark part will execute, expression one is false, colon part will be executed. So the result value will be stored in the variable that you can use it. So see is the same, this you are writing here with the ifs. see how many lengths of code you need to write. But this one is a single line. That's advantage. So here you can find out on the given two numbers, which one is max. Max equal to n1 greater than n2, question mark n1, else n2. So, so easy programs all just practice uh, these things. And, uh, and it is going to be very useful for us. Okay. Any questions? That's a very simple, uh, uh, no concept. Ternary one. 